Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my channel. My name is Abifari Aziz Olawale. I am agro consultant, banana and plantain specialist. We are here today to talk about the common diseases that affect plantain plantations. Um, the diseases that affect plantain plantations can come in different varieties. We have bacterial infection. The bacterial infection, we have fungal infection. We have nematodes attack. We have... Um, um, Segatoka too, which is also similar to nematodes. But the one we want to talk about today is the bacteria infection because that one is the one affecting our farm right now. And we are about to share how we are fearing with it, how we are dealing with it, and what we used in solving this particular problem. This bacteria infection normally affects the fruit. Why fruiting? You should be very tentative to your plantain so that you are going to be sure whether they are affected or not. How are you going to be? How are you, how are you going to know when your plantain are affected? Let me show you an example of bacteria infection on your plantain. This is a typical example. This particular plantain, you know, they are coming out already, but you will notice a black spot on the fruiting. This black spot will be coming out gradually. Before you know it, they will be eating the fruit of the plantain. If you are not careful, you might lose totally all your product, all your harvest. You might lose them to this infection. This is example. We have them, you know. This is another one. They are spreading like white fire. So, when we notice this, the first step we take is to identify the type of infection that, that, uh, that, that we are looking at. To identify them, we have to cut one of them, you know, to be sure that it is bacteria. And when, you, when we check, we take it to the lab. Uh, through the um, uh, investigation and the experiment that we are able to find out that this particular one is called bacterial infection because the odor that is coming off the fruit knee is still okay. They are not smelling. They are still smelling the plantain flavor. And hot as well, you can see them inside. Even though they are becoming softer, they are still, you know, it shows that something is attacking them from the outside. That's how we come to conclusion of this bacteria infection. How do we deal with this? Um, by the use, we go to our... Um, um, all these, our chemical seller, the herbicide seller, to complain of this infection, we are able to give us one of the insecticides that are effective for curing this type of disease. So, what do we do? We spray the herbicide to the whole farm, you know, to the whole plantation on the farm. We, you, do, you don't want to take any chances, either they are affected or not, we have to spray. So, we have to spray all of them. Now we spray them, and they are healing. They are healing already. You can see this one, the spots. If I, I will still show you the example of the one that are totally affected. Those zones will be damaged completely. But this one, they are healing. Instead of them to be eaten from the outside into the fruit, so they are just drying up. So that shows they are healing. They are healing already. They are healing. We have them. So that is one of the. Uh, this is the attacks or the affects plantain. We should be very careful and we should make sure that our scouting routine are very effective and efficient so that we, have, we will be able to detect any foreign attack or anything that wants to affect our investment. You see? So I'm going to be talking about the second um, 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 attacks, second disease that affect plantain in our next video. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Olike Farm and Agro Concerts. Thank you. And press the like button if you like this video so that you can be notified when subsequent videos are being posted. Thank you for choosing Olike Farm and Agro Concerts.